It would appear that uh, Alexander Smirnov, who's been, well, the person that Fox have always said is their leading person of authority. Same with James Comer and Jim Jordan. It's been their person with authority that they've gone to the informative. Uh, turns out it's more than likely uh, there is some Russian involvement in terms of trying to place smear and discredit the Biden family. To most people, that isn't a surprise. Obviously, right now at Fox News, it's put them into a panic because how do they explain to their audience the main person they've been saying is responsible for the fact that in their mind, in their lives, in their crazy brain, uh, the Biden family are a family that you would associate with crime in the same way that you would associate the Trump family with crime. Uh, unfortunately for them, one family does have the head of the family has 91 felonies and the other family has, well, nothing. It continues. Uh, you go to the front page of the Wall Street Journal. You see Americans kidnapped. One, one masked. Uh, uh, Evan uh, staring uh, from his jail cell uh, into the courtroom trying to be freed. A journalist. A journalist for the Wall Street Journal arrested for reporting on the war. You have, just shocking, you have, you have Russian uh, security uh, services deciding, hey, we can just send unfiltered crap straight to Congress. Straight, and, and we don't have to worry about it being filtered. By intel services, as we heard the report earlier, it's just shocking. And, 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 and why is that? It's because Republicans hate Joe Biden more than they fear Vladimir Putin. It's, it is really sick. It's really sick. And, 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 and Trump, once again, and Republicans being played once again by, uh, by Vladimir Putin. Mika, thank you for this bell. How many times do you, what, why? What are you doing? Every time a bell rings, yeah. Putin has Donald Trump on a string. Oh, well, I just yeah, hold on a second. That, that will do you four hours that, of hitting that bell. You saw that, of course, Jonathan O'Meara in a, It's a Wonderful Life. Juju said that at the end to Jimmy Stewart, made us yeah. all cry. It, it, it was true then. Is that what she said? I don't want to hear that for four hours. Is that what she said? Something like that. Every time a bell yeah, rings, it was, it was a, sort of an unexpected twist at the end of an otherwise feel. It was movie, strange, right? yeah. unexpected. Yeah. To Putin the has Republicans on a string, and you're like, yeah. you know, they did that in like 1946, 1947, and I'm sure they're thinking, Putin, who's this Putin guy? Yeah, we're maybe, sort of remarkable. Yeah, audience maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, think about, think about though. Uh, I, I gotta say seriously, you know, think about the fact that Vladimir Putin understands that Republicans are so stupid now in the House, even with the help of their legal counsel, Arnold the Pig from Green Acres, that mm. Republicans are so stupid in the House, they can feed Russian disinformation straight into the veins of the United States Congress, straight in, because they hate them so much. And then you have idiots running around talking about how they've got this disinformation that's going to bring down Joe Biden. Like, they, they, they depended on Russian disinformation. They depended on an international fugitive illegally selling Iranian oil to, to communist China, uh, illegally uh, selling arms, and, 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 and all of this to try to take down Joe Biden, and none of it's hitting in everything. And we've been saying this for months keeps making them look worse yeah these republicans and i think all there is left to do at this stage is you take rewind the tape jim jordan dan goldman i'll put my hand firmly in the air i think i'll go with dan goldman's version of the truth with everything to do with hunter biden first of all uh, congressman himself. what is your reaction to this revelation from the special counsel david weiss well, it's pretty shocking, and especially what it means that has been going on for the last four years, which is that wittingly or unwittingly, House Republicans have been acting as an agent or an asset of Russian intelligence for Vladimir Putin. 
Uh, this whole Burisma thing was debunked during the first impeachment investigation in 2019 by numerous, numerous witnesses, all of whom experts on Ukraine and Russia. And now this, uh, three, this 1023 materializes from a purported conversation in 2020 that is treated as gospel by the Republicans. And I would like to know whether or not Senator Grassley, who had a copy of this 1023 before the FBI ever gave it, or Chairman Comer or Chairman Jordan, all of whom were singing the praises of this, uh, the information provided by this source, had any idea whether or not it was completely bogus and was in fact a plant by Russian intelligence, which has been trying to meddle somewhat successfully in our election since 2016. And Chairman Jordan and Chairman Comer have said that this is the best evidence they have of misconduct by President Biden. In fact, it is no evidence. It is just simply evidence that the Republicans are willing to be used as assets of Russian intelligence, just like Donald Trump was in 2016 and throughout his presidency when he went to uh, in a press conference in Helsinki and chose Vladimir Putin's word over his own intelligence community. That is who we are dealing with. It is now a pervasive disease that has gone through the entire Republican Party. Fox News alert, the FBI informant who was arrested after saying Biden took bribes from Ukraine has been released from custody while he awaits trial. This is the same guy who the FBI worked with for years and top Democrats called highly credible. But today, Biden's Department of Justice is calling him a Russian spy. They say he has ties to Russian intelligence. Where did they get that from? The FBI informant told the FBI he talks to the Russians. That's part of his job as an FBI informant. So why is Biden's Department of Justice putting that in their court filing? It's a smear job. They just gave the media and the Democrats permission to call the Ukraine bribes and the Biden impeachment Russian disinformation for the rest of the year. Hunter just said he should get his plea deal back because this guy's a Russian spy. It's the same thing they did with the laptop, same thing they did with Trump. Once you put the Russian label on something, it's debunked until the election's over and then we find out it's true. The most corroborating evidence we have is that 1023 form from this highly credible confidential human source, according to U.S. Attorney Scott Brady. Shh, I'm a deep state secret operator. Oh, shite. Oh, shite. I'm a deep state secret operator. Deep in psych. Deep in psych. I'm a secret deep state operator. So there are constitutional hurdles you're going to have to cross. Are you going to expect the Supreme Court would interfere in a state court decision? I've never seen such support on a decision before. Uh, truckers, everybody, they say, we're not going to deal in New York. People are leaving New York. I've never seen support like this. I think there's a lot of pressure on the court system of New York to do what's right. Ding, 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 ding. Attention. Um, Diaper Don. That's his new name. He's doing a town hall. Uh, a town hall in Diaper Don's world is where he turns up. Uh, all the sheep and crazies uh, salute, bow down, make noises, woo, 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 et cetera, et cetera. And he's given a very easy ride. But he's literally just basically allowed to sit there and say whatever he likes. Uh, and Laura Ingraham, I mean, let's face it, you could put a whole load of toilet rolls in front of a former guy and they'd probably give him a more harder time, uh, ask more relevant questions and attempt to at least hold him to some element of Here's a person that wants your vote, wants to be prospective leader. But obviously with uh, Ingraham, who is, I'm not sure what Laura Ingraham's qualification is, aside from being a buffoon. But she has a microphone, she has a camera, and she is there to make sure that anybody who is watching Fox News, addicted to watch views, <laughs> I can't even say it, uh, gets their just dessert, their just whack of... <laughs> S-H-I-T. And now let's play. Laura Ingram, greeted by hers and Lumpy's followers. Ah. Ah. I think we 
we're just going to have to bring back the, the spinning machines because that's what's happening. The washing cycle is on. Mr. President, one of the uh, issues, questions we've been hearing from voters here is how do you plan to deport the millions of people? New category of crime. It's called migrant crime. And it's going to be worse than any other form of crime. You look at New York. They're emptying out their prisons into What's our What's the country. first thing you will do if you become president again on the border? I know well, that's going to be your first there act. There are two things I'm going to do. Number one is drill, baby, drill. And the other thing, equal. equal. How are you going to make sure that mail-in ballots and voter fraud, which we heard from a lot of people in line, was an issue front and center. They're very concerned about mail-in voting. So forget the past. What are you going to do to make sure we don't have problems going forward? If you have mail-in voting, you automatically have fraud. If you have... Okay, well, there's mail-in voting in Florida, That's and right. you won huge. That's right. If you have it, you're going to have fraud. But you won. Because you don't have any... When you go into a voting place, like you go into one in a, in a properly run state, they look at you, they give you give voter ID, you give all sorts of identification. I mean, it would be very hard to cheat in a mass scale. When you... Time and again, Republicans show they're a party of chaos and disunion. This is not your father's Republican Party. They shout about a problem, but then do nothing to solve the problem. The bottom line is Republicans have to decide. Who do they serve? This, I'm not, this is not hyperbole. Who do they serve? Donald Trump or the American people? How will you put up that kind of money because you have a bond to put up? Even if, if you appeal, you've got to put up escrow money. That's uh, uh, it's a lot it of, is lot a of dough. form of Navalny. It is but it's happening in our country, too. Uh, we are turning into a communist country in many ways. And if you look at it, I'm the leading candidate. I got indicted. I never heard of being indicted before. I was going I got indicted four times. I have eight or nine trials, all because of the fact that I'm and you know this, all because of the fact that I'm in politics. They indicted me on things that are so ridiculous of uh, Fanny in Atlanta. All, all we'll of get into people. that. We're going to get into that in a moment. But do you? The money. No, I got everything. I become an expert at law. If and Mr. President, 20,000 Chinese have entered since October. Yep. Okay. This is, does this concern you more than other immigrant groups? Uh, probably it would because it's China and it would be very hard to cheat in a mass I think There's a lot of pressure on the court system of New York to do what's right. You borrow a small amount of money by comparison. You pay it back. The bank is in love with you. And by the way, this is a time, and a lot of the audience says, no, banks are doing very badly with commercial loans. They're not getting their money back. They're in default, everything. This was a perfect loan. I did a favor to this bank. I borrowed money. I paid it back. It was already done. Just one second. I listen to it. I pay it back. And then this guy uses this. They come. It was just a weapon. They come after me, and they charge me many times the money that you're talking about. $355 million fine for a perfect loan. Where the bank was happy, the insurance companies, everybody's happy. And even he, in his statement, he said Trump did nothing said wrong. He said he didn't have any contrition. Why didn't he just hand him over when they were requested, though? I mean, they requested him. You could have just handed him over. It probably I was saved yourself a lot of trouble. First of all, I didn't have to hand him over. But second of all, I would have done that. We were talking, and then all of a sudden, they raided Mar-a-Lago. Do you remember? They said, could you put an extra lock on the door? We showed them where they were. We showed them. Unlike being under a Corvette in a little garage with the door open all the time, <laughs> we had these things locked. We were surrounded all the time by many Secret Service agents. We had Secret Service all over Mar-a-Lago. You couldn't take anything out. But what happened, and, and when you take a look, Biden didn't have the Presidential Records Act. He's at great jeopardy, really. But they.